hello everyone this is asmr studio welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you the dark tone of the photography that means the editing of the dark tone how to do that so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification so let's start the tutorial okay at first i'll go to the file options and then open up here in this folder i downloaded this photo from the deviantart.com so I'll give you that download link in my video description. So select here and open up this one. Yeah, this one. At first make copy by pressing Ctrl J or you can drop it and just drag this one and drop here. Yeah, it will make another copy of this layer. That means here new layer options. And after that go to the filter and the camera filter from here you know that the camera filter the blessing things for you and you can use it for your photography editing purpose and it could be the nicest thing ever so you can use it so at first uh, from here the basic panel the curve tone tone curves and all the things is here so at first i'll adjust this one the temperature and tint you can use it like i'll make it cool like this one and the tint i'll make it like this yeah little bit that's good and then the exposure i'll make it like a little bit down and the contrast a little bit up and highlight i'll make it the highlight like yeah that's good and then the shadow i'll add some shadow a little bit shadow and white i'll up make it up and blacks i'll make it down and then the variance just me scrolling down and the variance i'll make it the variance like this so that's good and the saturation i'll make it a little bit down that's good and from the camera calibration i'll go to the blue primary blue i'll make it like this type of blue that means minus 20 is good and the saturation i'll make it like this and the green primary green saturation i'll make it up and the primary green color i'll make it like this color okay and i'll adjust the red color uh, from this word primary red color the saturation and hue i'll make it down yeah that's good and now the tone curve and drop it down and the blue blue tone curve at first i'll just select here and i'll work with that so yeah i'll make it like that and then the green tone curve and i'll work with like this and just lock it up and make it like a little bit yeah that's good and then the red one just select once and a little bit that's good and the rgb just select here and make it a little bit up and just like here and like this and add some grammar like these options like the tone that means this portion just make it up that's good and from the hsl panel just luminance of orange color i'll make it the luminance up and the saturation just a little bit saturated like that and just decrease the green color that means the blue colors so saturation i'll make it like this and the aqua like this and green like this the yellow like this and orange i'll make it like this like this and the red color i'll make it up that's good and from the tone curve again i'll just work with this this one so like this that's good 
and just work with this so when you are working with that you have to just adjust this one so this one like that's good and the blue one just select this one and adjust like that's good and the sharpness that means the detailing options just making the sharpness of detail like that and the luminance of noise reducer like that and from the camera calibration i'll just adjust the red saturation i'll make it like this and this and the saturation of blue primary blue i'll make it like that so that's good and here from the basic panel i'll add some just like that and the saturation i'll make it plus three or four that's good the clarity i'll make it clarity like that so that's good and here the saturation and the variance i'll make it variance like that's good and then from the effects options i'll make it dehaze like this one and from the orange saturation and uh, red actually orange and red saturation will make it down yeah adjust with the face it's uh, the better options to make like that so after that i'll save it the save settings this one and just save it up and i'll save in this document that means here and I'll give the name dark okay and hit the save button and hit ok let's see the before one and after one so before one and the after one so that's good and now I'll work with this one so I'll copy this one by pressing ctrl G or you can drag it and drop over here and the filter and then the nick collection from nick collection i'll go to the color fix pro 4 and it will take time to load on your pc and that means it depends on your pc configuration actually so after that we'll use from here uh, lots of effects and lots of things so i'll from here i'll go to the portrait options and here is lots of things so dramatic skin softener so you can make the soft skin like this so i'll make the color like this one this this one is good uh, i think this one is good and hit ok and after that go to the all options and then the cross processing here from here uh, you can choose lots of methods one of them it will make your photo like nice that means c04 i'm using this one here is the options for the strength adjusting so i make it 28 around so then hit the ok button it will take time to load this one and give you the output so it's loading yeah it's almost done that's good that's fine and then uh, from the adjustment layer just go to the solid color and add a solid color like this one and hit ok go to the blending mode from here drop down menu and from here you have to choose the soft light and now change the color of the just color what you just got from the solid color and change the color mode like this so i'll choose a dark color like this so and hit the ok button so now it's almost done now let's see the before one and after one before one 
and after one so you're getting a dark effect if you want to apply these dark effect on your photography then you have to check out my video description and i just given over there the download link of the preset so thank you so much thank you for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye, -bye.